Alright guys, so I'm taking a look at a standing floor lamp and it comes in this really small box. You see right here. And it's just about five foot eight inches is how tall I am. It's almost as tall as I am. There's actually gonna be some information in the vid in the preceding portion of this video and the pictures and images. If you didn't catch that, you can check back there and find out the exact specifications on the size and everything. Otherwise, there's gonna be a link below. You can also find out more. Now, the assembly is basically just a matter of unpackaging and pulling the plastic, protective plastic off and taking these little plastic pieces that have a little separation. So you just pull these off and that's what separates each one of the screw points that go in, you know, end to end. So you just take these out, that's it. You've got a little warranty registration type card with a free gift offer. You have a support card with email address. It also has uh, you know, thank you. And there is a user manual included as well. I don't really see you needing this, but I mean, it's here if you do need it. Um, other than that, it comes with a very sturdy metal base it's a flat black finish with a rubberized portion on the top portion here, the gooseneck area where it's all adjustable, bendable, flexible. So you can kind of, you know, dial it in wherever you want. And it's only eight watts. So it doesn't use a lot of power, but it is the equivalent to a 100 watt incandescent, which means you're gonna get a lot of brightness. Uh, the touch sensitive controls, there's two small areas on the top. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And those controls allow you to turn it off and on. Uh, turning it on is just you know a matter of touching it very quickly. Turning it off is a touch and hold for about three seconds, roughly. Otherwise, when you touch it, it's just gonna keep cycling through. Uh, on the other side, which I, again, I will show you here in just a moment, there is a button. So you have brightness, four different levels, and color temperature. So you have sort of a, a really kind of an intense bright white light, then you have sort of, I'd say a more medium type, and then you have a sunlight type glow, so like 3000 Kelvin to 6000 Kelvin, so you have an orangish and a whitish, and then somewhere in between, so three different levels. And at 8 watts, you're not going to use a lot of power, but at a 100 watt equivalent, you're going to get a lot of brightness. So overall, really, really nice, pretty decent amount of cord, and it's just a little barrel connector that goes end to end that plugs in, it comes in, uh, out from under the base which is just a little square metal base. We'll take a look at that again here in just a moment. Um, other than that, the touch controls are very simple to use, very consistent in function. You know, tap uh, very rapidly and it picks it up every single time so long as you tap in the small area, which is the button per se, but it's a touch capacitive button, about the size of an American dime, to give you an idea of about the size. So that all said, there's gonna be a link below you can find out more, as I said, there's a little bit of information also preceding the video as far as the images. That'll show you some of the specifics of the light. Otherwise, we'll take a look at it right now. You can kind of see the operation and figure out if this is something that, you know, works for you or something that would be of interest to you. All right, thanks for watching. All right guys, so here's the wall plug that is included with this. And it comes over here to this barrel connector as mentioned earlier. You've got this nice sturdy metal base, and then you've got this flat black, you can see all the way. And from right here, all the way, the whole unit is sort of a soft touch rubber. That is what it looks like LED on that side. So we're gonna turn it towards the wall here so you can see the back side. And again, gooseneck, so fully adjustable. So here is your power turn it on change the brightness levels and you can see it works very very consistently this over here is your mode button so you, you can see hopefully you can see this light that's output here is a, a bright white and it's a different like a cooler or a different color of the white light there and then this is sort of an orange I don't I'm seeing it in the camera, so I'm going to assume that you're seeing the same thing. It's not auto-compensating. And then if you touch, you can change the brightness on whichever mode you set it on. And if you touch and hold, it turns it off. So very consistent. As I said, 
And in terms of stability, pretty stable as a whole. Like I said, it's, it's got a, a pretty nice weight to it. It's not super, super heavy, but you know, definitely uh, not an issue. And you can see minimal, it just says Tekken right there. And then you got your power. So very subtle and a soft, like I said, raw, uh, soft, rubbery type. And you can see there's no flicker. So that's it. I'll leave a link below the video. You can check that out. But overall, I mean, it works great. It's, you know, not going to really get hot because it's LED and it should last a really long time. So hopefully that is useful to you. And again, when it's upright like this, I'm five foot eight and it comes up above my nose close to uh, pretty close to eye level. But again, I left some measurements preceding portion of the video as mentioned. All right. So thanks for watching.